<laughs> is microdosing just a word to say I'm doing drugs? I love that question. Uh, first of all, I don't consider psychedelics to be drugs. Drugs are, and a lot of, or a lot of people say all things are drugs. Sugar's a drug, coffee's a drug, alcohol's a drug. So drug in the negative connotation, um, I think is a changing definition. So no, microdosing is an intentional practice, I think that should be used for healing. And that, that is the intent. What I like to say is it kind of makes you 10% of something, 10% happier, 10% more patient, 10% more creative, 10% more open. The thing about microdosing that's so interesting and hard, I think, for Western culture to um, wrap our brains around is that it's not, it's not medicine you get from Walgreens in a little bottle. Um, there's no real right or wrong way to do it, except that, in my opinion, just swallowing down a capsule and thinking it's gonna change your life is absolutely the wrong way. It does require work. For me, the way that microdosing is different is that it still allows me to be fully present in the things that I'm experiencing. So I still have really high highs and I still have really low lows. The difference though is that my, I feel that I am able to handle them and navigate them a little bit differently and more effectively in ways that are healthy. Microdosing is taking around one-tenth of a large dose. And a large dose is what people traditionally use, especially in original cultures and ancient, for a journey, which is where you do kind of go into the multiverse and talk to God um, and see things. And that's very powerful too. And a microdose takes that and distills it down to a tiny, tiny subperceptual amount of psilocybin so that you can fully function day to day, you can drive, you can be with your children, you can go to work, all the things. Um, what you're noticing is that your negative patterns are starting to change. With microdosing, number one thing that people need to know is that it doesn't really make you feel anything. Again, you're not hallucinating. It's not the 60s trip that everyone is afraid of. You're not gonna jump off a building and you're not frying your brain um, like an egg. And even as a musician, it helps with creativity and leveling you up. Um, it helps, you know, uh, really take some, uh, sometimes like a spin of, you know, maybe a trajectory of how I'm feeling. Maybe it's negative, depressive, or just, you know, antisocial. And then, you know, I'll microdose and I'm like, in, and then I'll go on a hike and I'll feel um, way more connected with nature. And it also allowed me to be more present with my children because I'm able to be more patient. It allows me to be more creative and open communicator in my job. Um, and it frankly, has been something that's allowed me to show up in my relationships in a more authentic way because I'm not so anxious all the time. And so microdosing has really fundamentally changed how I move in the world and, and navigate relationships from my children all the way to my professional colleagues. I felt a calm and a space between my words that I hadn't felt before. Um, and slowly over time, because psilocybin helps rework your neural pathways. I started to just change a lot of bad habits, a lot of repeating habits, and just kind of came into myself. Interestingly enough, um, most people that I talk to about microdosing, they ask a whole lot of questions, they have a lot of curiosities, and nine times out of 10, they're calling me up saying, how do I get it? Microdosing is what brings you, um, in the same way that you take a antidepressant, um, that's what microdosing is. It's not doing drugs because you're not feeling, your, your perception isn't changing. You're not feeling a difference in um, how you show up in the world, like again, like tripping. So no, I don't think it's doing drugs at all. I think it's healing.